Bloody hell. hell. You didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do a Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No, not Shawn. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Shawn's. War games. We've already been in a battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Did you see I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Where well, I've been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate. When you reached out asking for help, that it was kind of a no-brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course I had. Your two of us is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you, too. All right. Let's do this. The following is a men's War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Every war needs a hero, and you might... I didn't think it was possible, but the road to SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter, adding explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All is fair in love and War Games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. Ending up between the two rings, and this can get dangerous fast. Oh, oh my gosh! You gotta be kidding me, no way! Wow, springboard attack, ooh! Slade able to adapt. Burning the tables! to land. Hits him with the counter. Oh, foot, meet face. The counter started and one team is about to have the odds in their favor. Rose print. Unleashed from the cage and beelining it to give their team an edge in the match. Shoulder tackle. And Slade gets stonewalled. Things could get ugly now as they head inside the cage. And that was a precisely measured attack. And a spinning back kick, too. 
Slaying able to adapt. Oh, man. A oh, dragon screw angle breaker. Uh oh. Look out. Double leg drop. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Flipping senton. That was nice. There it is. Snap suplex. He's all the way up to the top, and this can only end so many ways. None of them great. Ooh. He can't be serious. No, no way. Things will get back to an even playing field with the next entry. have some sort of strategy in mind. Not wasting any time getting through the door, and the teams are evened up. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Three rolls by a big time uppercut. Getting set up for something in the corner. Lift it up. What do they have in mind here? Firepower with them into what is now. Time to flip it. is in the worst way now. Oh, needed a face. He got whipped into that corner. Uh oh. Numbers advantage or not, and he's leaving nothing to chance as he searches under the apron. And that was a well executed attack. Did that finish Priest off? He's walking through the structure door. This is where nightmares become reality.
seen that coming. What's Priest in for? Kick connects, hooking it up. And did you hear the impact of that? Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. Priest knows what he needs to end this. We're going to take a trip. Holding cage is open, and away they go. Ready to get into the action. Setting up for something here. has survived and their leader has now earned the right to choose his SummerSlam stipulation. The former lock still faces long odds, but I guarantee he will take whatever advantage he can get. All's fair in love and war and we just witnessed that in real time here tonight. 
like it or not, we're looking at the fruits of that labor right now. It all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking... You should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well... If you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. Nothing against the rest of our crew, but I want him out there watching my back. Seriously? Not Chosen won the pool and he's never going to shut up about it. But yeah, good choice. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town, and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? I hadn't thought about it like that, but maybe you're right. There is a small part of me that knows, despite how hard I've worked to get here, that it could all come to an end. And that's scary. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need an answer, it's going to be an Extreme Rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, The Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure, and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. 
They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over, but now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night the lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place? Or more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately. Losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, 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 he, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game planned to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. What do you want? Here to pull another last-minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either. But that's how these things work. 
Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one on one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? Oh no, completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. As something special that can't be taught has separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line, too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. It's the man who's here the following to beat contest the is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger, accompanied by Bobby Lashley, representing the... It is... The chaotic road to SummerSlam has all led to this. One of the most anticipated matches in WWE history for the WWE Championship. But it's more than that, Cole. It's a match between a superstar who left WWE to find himself and came back to win a championship and a living legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. And don't forget the greats joining them tonight, like Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose tonight as anyone. No matter how you look at it, this one's huge, and it's all happening right now. Boom! DDT! Orton gets the better there. Well, I'm not going to win for a couple hundred years, but you know why? Because the Billy Goats curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. Oh, what a great escape. It could change the course of the match. He's lining him up. From way up. Oh, that's handle cuts. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Hooked up. DDT. Can't quite get him there. The hit's added up a little on the champ. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Judo thrown into a DDT. Oh. Orton ducks the strike. And he counters with the headlock backbreaker. Vintage Randy Orton. Orton's clearly in control now. 
It looks like he's trying for a top rope hung DDT. His opponent's doing everything he can to counter. And here comes Shawn Michaels with the assist. But Shawn gets taken out. And now the challenger has an opening. Orton charges. Drop toe holding to the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like there'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. just happened? Apparently Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Talk about rocking the jaw. Judo throws. Oh, cutter. is facing a bit of danger here. Looks like Orton's struggling here. Springboard misses the target. Counters the Viper's attack. Ooh. And look, now Orton is busted open. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Beautiful elbows. And a spinning back kick, too. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Looks like he has the upper hand now. He's gaining the upper hand here. Oh, he knew what was coming. Randy showing he's not out of it. Orton hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. Into the DDT. Scouted. Into the barricade. Oh, what a neck breaker. Turning it around into a butterfly suplex. Oh. Saw it coming. Lariat. What a shot. The challenger's looking shaken. the contact. Oh, Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. And the assault to that area continues. Sustaining the attack above the neck region. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. What's he thinking here? Classic Orton. back in under the ropes. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. And he's taking this to the outside now. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs. No worries. There's a real barrel. Boom! DDT! Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Oh, what a neck breaker. Turn it Could set something else up. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Set up for the oh, sweep. Nicely done. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No, it's not, Michael, and I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Setting up Orton. Yeah, with the cover. Going to see a new champ. Ten. One, two, three. Kick out, kick out at two. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that left. No, no, no. Oh, straight to the floor! That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I had 
no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Boom! Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. A bad place to be for the challenger. Yeah, the longer this fight goes on, the more Orton's not going to make it easy on him. Cranking the head. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression. Just pure oh, brutality. Come on, easy. He'll take things into the ring. This one is headed outside, guys. I don't know what you call that, but it hurt. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. But Shawn Michaels is back, maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once. There looks to be a small sign of respect from Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight it came down to just him and Orton in the ring. One on one, no one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn. The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is. It's official. We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. Buckle up, everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history at one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. Myself included, could somebody please pick my jaw up off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the newly minted WWE Champion for the title right now. <laughs> Irish 
Irish whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. And Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Haluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Haluva kick. With the roll up. That will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sammy Zayn's shocking cash in. Sammy Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sammy. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade, who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known. He may also be looking for redemption, but for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they force their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do. And I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again?